Welcome to Osis Kitchen. Yes, this is Raziel is in the house. <laughs> so excited to hear. This is my good friend. And um, we're going to have a conscious food, conscious conversation, aware conversation, and lots of love. We're going to put lots of love in the food. So I'm so excited you're here. Thank you so um, much. Thank you for having me. Um, you know, I couldn't turn down the lovely Osnat. So when she, <laughs> she said, hey, you know, let's do this show. And I was like, ah. Oh. And you was like the next day. So I was like, oh, no problem. I'll move stuff around. I got to come through. Yeah. In yeah. this lovely kitchen. I couldn't yeah. miss that opportunity. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like it's important to find again the love in the kitchen. To right. go back to the kitchen and not to feel like you're slaving around and right. you're serving the whole world and then you're not being taken care of. It's actually, for me, um, cooking, it's a meditation practice. I, I agree. Yeah, especially when I go out into the world and I'm so busy and creating and then I'm not so much in the mood to cook. This is really when I go back and I say, this is time to go back and slow down. This is the place where I slow down. Conversation or yes, love yes. and eating, these are things that are very, very basic. So it's a good idea to be aware of this and then apply it consciously, mm -hmm. intentionally. There is a vibration of the food when you eat raw kale. You know, the, the, the way you feel afterwards is completely different than when you feel, when you eat a steak. Right. Right? Yeah. But you don't eat that stuff. I used to. Once <laughs> upon a time, I did eat steak. So you're totally vegan? You're totally yeah, raw? 100 yeah, 100% percent vegan. Um, not completely raw. I have been, mm -hmm. and um, it feels great to do that. So the idea with food is not um, uh, just to get rid of something, it's to prevent it. So you eat the right things to begin with. You don't have to worry about things like trans fats, gluten, um, weight loss. Like these things are not something that would be of your concern mm -hmm. or anyone's concern if mm -hmm. they just ate properly. Mm -hmm. And adding kale to the diet, particularly the dark green kales, mm -hmm. um, would add years to your life and fun to your life, mm -hmm. I think. I think we're missing nutrients and we're missing something. That's why we keep craving you know, sugar and carbohydrates. And that's why we eat so much. Yes. Um, we eat a lot because the body's still saying that you need to continue to eat because mm -hmm. you don't have adequate nutrients. You do believe in drinking. Drinking is important. Yes, drinking is important. Provided that you don't get um, enough from the food. Enough from the food. Drinking would be even more important than the food. What kind of drinking are you talking I'm about? Glad you guys. Okay. Um, alkaline. Um, Alcohol, like water. like shot of tequila, and um, <laughs> we're going to talk about that later. Um, but no, tequila is actually agave. Nuts, agave, right? Right. So, which I always and not that mind. I'm promoting tequila. We're not promoting tequila. I'm just saying. Yeah. If you were to anyway. <laughs> Um, so the uh, actually tequila is paying for our show. Yes, <laughs> that's why we keep bringing it up. You put garbage in a garbage can, not in your body. Yes, and when cleaning the garbage can, what do we do? We take the garbage out, mm -hmm. we throw the garbage away, we clean the inside and the outside of the garbage can. But when we clean ourselves, what do we do? We take a shower and we consider that to be clean mm. without taking the garbage out mm. of the body. Mm, nice. And some would say, well, you know, you know, I use the bathroom, that's taking it out, in part. But remember, if you were to throw garbage even in a garbage chute, eventually there's a lot of garbage building up on the side of the chute and mm -hmm. it needs to be cleaned mm -hmm. out. If you buy the liquid coral fill and you put two, two teaspoons, in a glass of water, right? It's a little minty flavor. Some of them have mint flavor for it. And you drink it, that's actually uh, deodorant for the body, for the digestive. And it gets your pH balance. Yes, it, you, be, you become more alkaline. Alkaline, the thank body, you. Um, that's how I actually healed myself when I was right. super sick. Um, ate alkaline food for six months and got off the medication and got super healthy again because Really, for me, it was like the, you know, Western medicine, it's temporary. You can't really rely on it on everyday life. Right. And it's very young, too. Um, take that into consideration. The Western medicine is a very young um, field. It's, it's new. It's about, uh, what, 100 years old, approximately, maybe a little less. Um, the medicine as we know it, where um, they re they're relying on drugs. This should be a pre the preventative measures that we take, um, our dietary uh, uh, habits should be our preventative. It should be our doctor. 
And uh, our body can get rid of anything if we give it the opportunity and mm -hmm. don't get in its way. I think eating at home is the most important. If you right. can eat at home, you, you nail 70% you know, of the problem of disease, in my opinion. Right. If you cook your own food and you know where it's coming from and you go back to the you know, source of where the food right. comes, I think that's one issue. And the second thing is, you know, if you don't eat at home, you, know, you do a spiritual practice where you raise the vibration of the foods, put some prayers, put some love in it. She's doing a yoga pose, by yeah. the way, as Sorry. we speak. Tree, tree pose. <laughs> 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 yoga, meditation. Conversation, good food, love, spirituality, blessing. Yes. Awesome. Um, efficiency is something that's also underestimated. Beautiful. Um, the body needs to work very efficiently. And if yeah. it's spending so much time and energy on digestion, mm -hmm. it's not going to have enough for your mental processes, mm -hmm. your emotional stability, mm -hmm. and these things. Because it has to come from somewhere. Mm -hmm. You have X amount of energy, and um, it's going to get used up throughout the day. My colleague, uh, teacher friend, she travels a lot to teach and you know when I started to travel and teach I asked her how do you stay kind of vibrant, how do you have energy, right? It's like a lot on the plane and getting from one place to another place and she said that's just what I eat, you know, this nice. is the type of food she eat, pretty much raw and lots of shakes. So she would do the same thing we just did but she would put it in the Vitamix and make it into a drink and put some coconut uh, water in it. And that will be her drink that she will last probably half the day. You have a lot of energy when you yeah. eat like that because the body doesn't need to work so hard, right. like you said, right? To and that's one of the purposes of massaging it because it's, kale is, um, is, is uh, I'm not going to say it's rough, but um, we don't chew mm -hmm. as much as we mm -hmm. should mm -hmm. and massaging it as you can see is partially digested mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. and it's delicious. I mean this is really a basic this should be you should eat this every day yes. at least four times a week that should be yes. your meal I mean make your life super simple you know a couple shakes this a little quinoa it's not long to make Right. I mean, if you had long. to do this from start to bottom, it's like what, 15 minutes? 15 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. less. Right. 